our actors and I read them for him and for others from the audience um, haikus which were written about uh, the actors but I can give you this text in Hindi because these haikus were translated and I have a copy <laughs> Yeah, it's lovely the, to see the effort that went into the creation of this. Because it works at so many levels, the visual, textual, and the dramatic dimension. And this all, uh, it's all as if they're interwoven so seamlessly. It's a very beautiful thing to see. And for them it could also be perhaps a form of therapeutic... Uh, yes, of course. Uh, it's, it's, uh, but, uh, but it's, um, it's much more. Uh, because before they, they were in the... Like, like the EA people who are not able to do anything important and now they are actors and they have place in the life and it's very important. So it's more than that, it's more a kind of transcendence which perhaps they are arriving at in a different, through a different route from which ordinary actors might. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So beautiful. As you say, the metaphysical dimension coming mm -hmm. back in. The, exactly. So it's not, it, they, they cannot be Brechtians, they cannot in this day be, be very self-conscious, but perhaps they can be even more uh, sort of true to their own essence, as a, the essence of their being, as they get to the performance. And the texts are written by you, exclusively by you, of the plays which are performed. You're the playwright who writes for them. Yes. Give them the dialogue. Mainly, mainly. Sometimes old plays or some improvisation. So, but um, really six plays for them. Uh, all, all, almost the, probably the second play, play that, that I wrote. And one and another is from a, cla a, a classics play or something like this. But it's very important to write for them because it, it's a special theater, a special way how to write them. I, once I try to speak about this, they are not ready to die, for example, on the stage. Because a normal actor is ready to die on the stage, but they are so sensitive that they, they could not die, they cannot die, they don't want to die, because uh, it's... Uh, for them a little bit different because uh, uh, disturbing for them. Maybe. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. Them and, of and, and, and you can and, and you have Eric find Eric. another possibility to, to express the very the complexity of the world. Uh, but it's uh, it's very important. It's very, very nice. That's right. Uh, to work them and, and they are very lovely and uh, when you go there for a reading, or they are. Crying, oh, hi, Ishtar, we love you. And, and they think it, 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 it's, <laughs> it's not only a joke. Or a not at all. It's a form of alternative form of community, perhaps, being created. Yeah. You know, Gandhi was very much interested in these alternative communities which he created. The ashram concept, oh, yes, of yes. and before that, uh, South Africa. Phoenix Farm, you know, oh, yes. it was inspired by European ideas of community, you know, really? people would break away, American and a European idea, break away from the mainstream and create a kind of uh, way of existing, which perhaps had never been seen before, based on alternative principles, whether it's socialist or it's, you know, other forms of ideas which come to the fore. So he was someone who perhaps would have found this very exciting the kind of work you're doing. <laughs> Another connection. And glad to know that you were also uh, able to read through this uh, uh, original work, which of course you talked about. It seems like a very important figure in the 19th century. Yeah. Yeah. And there's that history of historical, uh, say, drama. Is there a strong tradition, of, like Shakespeare, say, and his historical plays? Is there something like that in Hungary? Yeah, so that is the question that I was also wanting to ask. Is, is theatre very popular? And is is it more popular than literature? Theatre is very popular um, uh, in Hungary nowadays, uh, and uh, I think very important. And there are very famous uh, groups, uh, and of course the theatres always can uh, have a reaction every day on, on the absolutely new things. Um, but of course we have to play old plays, but this play, for example, about Gandhi, 
it's a not, not a new play, but it, it's possible to play because many questions are now actually in the world and in Hungary too. And as you say, a play of ideas, which is actually about... Mm -hmm. I was somewhat reminded of Bernard Shaw, but he was a little more uh, clear about the uh, way in which drama should function as a drama of ideas. Very explicit oppositions and clear-cut binaries which you would clash on stage, like Man and Superman, you know, those yes. atheistic versus the theistic. Mm -hmm. But this seems more subtle. I mean, he's actually representing internal conflicts within the Indian nationalist framework. So he's studied the History very well. I mean, you know. I think yes. I think yes. Uh, <laughs> he, he read about them. Uh, he was a very wise man. And he he, he uh, knew almost everything what is possible. And when he started to work, I think he had to know everything about the theme. And he it was not only a theme for him, but it was a real question: how to change our life? Is it possible to to change the direction of history? Because it's 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 uh, here in the play. When Gandhi says, uh, when uh, uh, Muslims uh, force say that we, we need Pakistan, we, 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 have, we have to uh, make our country, and, and Gandhi says, okay, I tried everything, but I'm not able to change everything, and when history goes in one direction, yes, but I think... He was able. In this case, it, it was impossible, but he, he, he changed very much, and it's very important. Um, and yeah, and uh, back to the, this question that theater is always about this. Uh, can you change a little bit um, our life, our directions, uh, or not? Of course, there are others, other powers, uh, not as in literature. Sometimes poetry, one poem can change yes. the history. It, it, and it happened in Hungarian poetry with Sándor Petőfi. In the 19th century there was a revolution and one of his poems, what uh, wrote in the first day, what he wrote in the first day of this revolution, uh, 1848, uh, it was um, immediately everywhere and I think uh, he changed the the direction of the revolution and without Petrofi it couldn't be so nice and so important and so so long this uh, revolution. So that's the role of literature, yeah, yeah. and, and theatre in particular, yeah, somehow, yeah. since it's the immediacy of an audience, the presence of the uh, kind of uh, uh, crowd, if you like, which can be transformed into something collective, uh, collective consciousness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Always you know, you talk about popularity of poetry as well, so much in, in the Hungarian context. And poetry is popular in, in India as well, I mean, both in English and in Hindi. But I would say that the literary genre that is really popular you know, with readers is mm -hmm. the novel. No, no, of course, yeah. yeah. I mean, is it also, I mean, to an extent it's a global phenomenon, but mm -hmm. is it also the truth about Hungary? Or you think that uh, poetry and music also has a, you know, has a wider appeal in terms of live performances mm -hmm. and so on and so on? Poetry nor normally is not for everybody. But I think there are periods in the history when it is for everybody, because poetry if you read poetry, it can help you in your hard days when you, uh, when somebody of your friends or parents died. Mm -hmm. it, it helps. And in historical situation, it can help when the nation is uh, in a trouble. For example, in uh, 56, what mentioned by Mr. Professor Chandra, yeah, uh, it was, the, the nation was, it was in a tragic situation mm -hmm. and everybody read poems. Uh, but normal, no, common people don't have to read every day. Uh, but some of the books uh, can be successful as uh, not f for poetry writers, but at much more. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, the novel is the first because normally uh, now everybody wants uh, a little bit with liter literature relaxed too, and uh, and 
ले गया सर नो वेस बट एंड नो बट इज एबल टू टू रीड प्लेस बिकॉज दिग्रेशन विथ पोएट्री इज अट विथ बेटर बट प्लेस टू टू पब्लिश प्लेस इट्स नॉट अ सक्सेसफुल थिंग बट आई थिंक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज प्लेज वेन यू रीड अ प्ले इट्स अ शॉर्ट थिंग एंड इन अ प्ले इज सच एज एज सो मैनी सो मैनी आइडियाज एज इन अ नोवेल बट यू कैन रीड अ नोवेल इन अ वीक normally but you can in a, one evening you can uh, read a play because in the play you can only write the discussion mm-hmm. and when you are a writer of course it's not a normal discussion but uh, you have to express and it's it's a fight it's not a, about about uh, the weather or something like this but always it's a fight between the protagonists mm-hmm. and uh, it's so many ideas so many things about life as in a novel and it's i think it's very good to to read the uh, plays because it's not, you not, not don't take time so much and of course poetry is very short uh, one poem you can read in one moment yes that's the benefit that poetry has and yet you know that's why i'm more and more surprised why it is not more and more popular yeah and uh, because story 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 everybody yeah. thinks uh, yeah. they need stories but we don't have too much stories and when and, and in the films everywhere stories of course the play is not only a story right and it can be a people love it when it is performed yeah the okay. people love live performances and everything so do you think that this also to an extent speaks about you know a diminishing culture of reading uh, and and more and more about you know being out and out of work place and you know just being you know like so it's an alternative to music bands and all of that well um problem what happens with reading yes uh, one thing everybody reads because on the mobile phone uh, they are writing and reading and the communication is not uh, uh, with with words but with uh, with chat so stickers nowadays yes you know, uh, but yeah. uh, but but it's very quick and and the problem that most of the people forget to be slow to to start the novel and and work on this i mean read but it's a work a very nice work a week long or a month long when it is a hard heavy novel and that's very important to to read long things when everybody wants to read short things um, it will be a problem yes. with the concentration and con- to concentrate only one thing not uh, watch tv and uh, uh, something uh, communicate on the mobile phone and then with this read a book no to read a book it means you are alone maybe around you are people but you have to yeah you have to learn to be alone everywhere and uh, read the book and go into this world and you have to create this world he wants to meet him he's a very esteemed poet hello hello i'm a poet i write in hindi and i was a participant Uh, uh, at uh, Rotterdam Poetry Festival, oh. and there I met Sabul Chilbardi. Oh, and we became very good friends. Good, good, yeah, good yeah. poet, very good poet. I translated some of his poems into Hindi. Oh, my language. So you also write poems? Yes, yes. 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 So I will look for your poems. Ah, uh, where? Um, I can I can send you something in Hindi because some okay. my poems are translated. Some haiku, sixty, no, no, twenty-six haiku. बिकॉज 
back from home, yeah. from home, and I was not able to answer to my and I will have to give you one letter that I have answered.